All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is the quote-unquote transitivity of implication. And that's just a really fancy way of saying this. Suppose you have statements P, Q, and R. All that's saying is that if P implies Q, and Q implies R, then it must be the case that P implies R. So, in English, if P then Q, and if Q then R, therefore, if P then R. And that makes sense, right? So, how do you go about proving something like this? And what I'm going to employ is something called a proof by contradiction. Proof by contradiction. Proof by contradiction. So, all this is, is that assume what you're trying to prove is false. Assume it false. And then, through some process, achieve a contradiction. Achieve a contradiction. So essentially, you're reaching some impossibility. And so, if this was, so you're saying that if this is false, if this statement is false, then some impossible condition has to be true, which it clearly isn't. Therefore, your assumption couldn't have been correct in the first place, and therefore you have proven it true. And that's all there is to proof by contradiction, and I'll show you how this works right here. All right. So, here's the proof of this statement up here. Oh, it went off a little off the screen. Let's see. There you go. All right. So, here's the proof. Assume the statement is false. So, I guess there should be some parentheses here. Assume the statement is false. When is an implication statement false? Well, so, hold on. Assume it false. Well, then... P implies R is false, and this must be true, and P implies Q, and Q implies R is true. Well, if this statement is true, then both of them are true, therefore, P implies Q is true, and Q implies R is true. Well, if P implies R is false, then you get that R is false, and P is true. But if P is true, and P implies Q is true, then Q has to be true. And if Q is true, and Q implies R is true, R has to be true. But R is true, and it is false. And that's impossible. And therefore, by contradiction, it must be true. And that is the end of the proof. And that's how contradiction works. So we assumed that it was false, and we reached a possibility where R was false and R was also true. This is impossible, therefore our assumption must have been incorrect, and therefore this statement is true.